My name is Brian Ian, civil engineer by profession, and from my experience, I'm going to help you understand the most common mistakes in construction and specifically slabs for this particular video. You will also learn how to avoid these common mistakes in construction, so be sure to watch this video till the end. Let's first clearly understand what a slab means. So, this is a slab. It's a structural element made of a horizontal surface made of cast concrete. Slabs transfer both dead load and live load from the beams to the columns then from the columns to the foundation. There are two kinds of slabs, that is hollow slabs and solid slabs. Hollow slabs are primarily made of max pan, BRC and steel with hollow cores running through it, whereas solid slabs are entirely made of concrete and steel bars only. Common mistake number one is laying steel bars in the slab wrongly. What most contractors or steel fixers do is that let's assume this is a slab. They lay bottom one bars along the longer side first and then bottom two bars along the shorter side next, which is wrong. Due to the effect of sagging and hogging bending moments, it makes this slab weak. The correct version is laying bottom one or top one bars along the shorter side first and then followed by bottom two or top two bars along the longer side later. And that's why bed slats are laid along the shorter side like this and not along the longer side. This makes the bed strong and comfortable. We treat the slab a similar way. Bottom one bars along the shorter side first then followed by bottom two bars along the longer side. Common mistake number two is using the wrong class of cement when casting concrete for the slab. What most contractors do is that they simply go to any hardware or store and order any kind of cement because they have no idea about the classes of cement and end up using cement of low strength and that is usually 32.5 which is wrong. Therefore, when casting concrete for the slab, the beam, footings, columns, the staircases, or the lift shear wall, be sure to always use cement of 42.5 normal strength or rapid strength. Common mistake number three is insufficient concrete cover. If this is a slab, this space here at the bottom and this space here on top is what we call a concrete cover. This concrete cover protects the steel from corrosion, therefore any concrete cover less than 25 mm is wrong. The minimum concrete cover in slabs is 25 mm. Common mistake number four is failing to clean formwork for the slab. What most contractors or masons do is that after doing formwork or shattering for the slab, they simply power concrete here which at the end makes the shattering difficult because the concrete sticks to the timber boards or steel plates. The correct version is that after doing formwork for the slab, we use a cut piece of a mattress or any other smooth cloth and do oiling on the whole surface for the slab where we want to cast our concrete, then lay steel bars on the slab. After fixing steel bars for the slab, we make a water remix of cement plus water and pour it on top here before casting concrete. This way, the slab will have a very smooth surface finish with no irregularities and shattering or removing timber will be so easy since we did oiling on top of the formwork. Common mistake number 5 is tying binding wire wrongly. Common mistake number 6 is adding a lot of water in the concrete. Whether concrete is mixed on site or ready mix, continuously adding water leads to segregation which makes the concrete weak. Water should be kept minimal to achieve the maximum strength for the concrete. The more water in the concrete, the weaker the concrete. Common mistake number 7 is insufficient vertical supports for formwork when supporting the slab. What most carpenters do is that they do not provide enough support which is wrong because these slabs end up failing even before setting. When using steel formwork, fix properly the top jack and the bottom jack under every plate as vertical supports at 90 degrees to avoid any chance of the slab failing. Then when using wooden formwork, support these timber pieces on top here with sufficient vertical support since the slab is very heavy so as to have zero chance of the slab failing. Common mistake number 8 is insufficient curing. After casting concrete for the slab, most masons just do curing for 2 to 3 days only which ends up leading to cracks in the slab, which is wrong. Cement attains its maximum strength at 28 days in the presence of water. After casting concrete for the slab, wait for around 30 minutes and do extensive curing. When you do extensive curing, that very day when you cast concrete, concrete will never have cracks. Then the next day, spread sand on top of the slab and do curing that is powering water three times a day that is in the morning around 6 a.m. around midday and around 
around 6 pm in the evening. We do this for 28 days for concrete to achieve maximum strength. Common mistake number 9 is insufficient overlap in the slab. What most steel fixers do is that let's say one steel bar is coming from this side and it ends here. They simply add on another one to this other end which is wrong because it will end up causing a crack here. The correct version of overlapping is that let's say one steel bar is coming from this side and ends here. The next steel bar will begin from here and continues to this extreme end. This distance here is what we call the overlap. We determine this distance by the formula overlap is equal to 50D. 50 is the constant and D is the diameter of the steel bar. For example, if the diameter of the steel bar is 12 millimeters, overlap here will be equal to 50 multiplied by 12 which will give us 600 mm. When the steel bar is of 10 millimeters, overlap here will be equal to 50 multiplied by 10, which will give us 500 millimeters. Common mistake number 10 is simply casting a cement sanskrit for flat roofs, usually on top or the last floor up. What most contractors do is that after casting concrete for this last floor slab here on top, they simply cast a cement sand screen here on this top surface and do some simple finishing, which is wrong because this flat roof here will eventually leak. The correct version is that after casting concrete for this last floor flat roof here on top, lay a 2mm bitumen polyframe membrane covering the entire slab or any other membrane that prevents water from entering your roof. Then on top of the membrane, spread a cement sand screen. Also provide a rainwater receptor at the edge and a 100mm downpipe to drain water from the top of the flat roof to the ground. This way, your flat roof will never leak again. In summary, the most common mistakes in construction for slabs are laying steel bars wrongly, using the wrong class of cement, insufficient concrete cover, failing to clean formwork before casting concrete, tying binding wire wrongly, adding a lot of water in concrete, insufficient vertical formwork supports for the slabs, insufficient curing, insufficient overlaps, and simply casting cement sand screen on top of flat roofs with no membrane which eventually leads to leaking. I gave the correct version of what is supposed to be done for each of the above. If you have any questions, be sure to ask them in the comment section, I'll answer all your questions immediately. Be sure to watch this video on the right about the most common mistakes in the construction of bungalow houses. Thank you so much for watching.